Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be sharing with you guys a super fast and foolproof way to do your makeup that literally is going to take you probably less than five minutes. I'm going to be showing you guys the super fast and easy method called cheetah hacking. So with Saint Makeup um, they're known for their 3D foundation concept which is basically highlighting and contouring that's also known as hacking. This is going to make doing your makeup so much faster and the cool thing too is all you need is one simple layer so you just apply the colors where you need them you don't actually have to put down a base foundation shade you just apply the highlight colors or like your concealer and foundation color in the areas that you want your contour colors in the area that you want and your blush color in the area that you want then you blend it all out and it just looks absolutely flawless every single time and it wears so nicely so the fact that you're only doing one layer and applying the colors only where you need them and the fact that all of your makeup is in one convenient place like this versus having to rummage through something like this. It's my caboodle here. You can see how I have makeup all over the place and usually I would have to rummage all over the place to be able to find the products that I want and that's what takes so much longer. It makes me feel more pressured especially when I only have a certain amount of time. While this it's all in one place I don't even have to put the palette down while I'm doing it. If you guys are interested in getting color matched and getting your own custom 3d foundation palette um i will have a color match form down below or you can also comment down below and let me know that you guys want to get a color match and i would love to do that for you guys so if you guys want to learn how to cheat a hack then just continue watching Alrighty, so like I said, everything is in one convenient palette right here and it does have a mirror too so that you can see and you guys can see how I have my palette all set up. Add one of my lip and cheek shades into this palette so that I can show you guys the full effect. This is a shade called Black Cherry which I think would be really really popular. It looks like it's going to be really super dark and super intimidated but since this is a gloss formula, it's actually going to give you just a sheer little wash of color. It's kind of like that I was outside and got that flushed look on my like lip and cheeks or like I just ate a popsicle type of look that's pretty much what black cherry is so we're gonna go ahead and start off and I'm actually going to do two different things so on one side I'm going to blend out with my blush and bronzer brush and on the other side I'm going to use my perfector sponge to blend out my makeup so we're gonna start off with our brightening so this shade here is going to basically be a concealer shade it is just gonna give you that little bit of lift to your face and I personally recommend it for everybody I know some people don't like that if you like more of a natural look I probably wouldn't go with the brightening illuminator but for the most part, I think that it's just really nice because it just lifts the eyes, really makes you look like you got more sleep than you actually did. Then we're just going to rub that down the center of our nose. Then I'm going to take my contour shade right here, which is the shade called Indigo. It looks really dark and intense, but it really isn't. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that right in my contour area. And again, with this makeup, you do not need to layer on any other makeup underneath before applying like your contour shade because the contour shade already has its own coverage and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that down the center of my nose there and then also just underneath my cheek you can just swipe on the color if you want to do it that way too and I think it comes out more flawless this way then I'm gonna take my main highlight shade so the reason why these are called highlights is because with um, Saint their 3d foundation technique is known as hacking aka highlighting and contouring uh, i totally realized that my nail dug into my contour shade right here and got it all over the place but it's okay because this stuff is foolproof and then we're gonna go ahead and just apply i like to apply a little bit of the main highlight shade which is basically what we would consider our foundation shade on my cheek just to add a little bit of extra coverage and i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the, the other side of my face really fast So you guys can see what it's looking like there and you can apply your blush shade if you want to some people wait until after they blended everything out to apply their blush shade holy crap i totally put contour in the wrong area i meant to put my blush some people wait to put their blush shade on until after they blended it out 
but for today's video sake we're just gonna go ahead and do it now um with me talking this has taken me already just four minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and take the large side of the blush and bronzer brush and i'm gonna use that just to blend out my highlight shade i always start off with the lightest shade first or the lighter shades first and then i'm gonna go ahead and blend out my contour i'm gonna actually use the other side of the brush because it is a little stiffer so i feel like it'll do it a lot faster And it's literally like magic when it all blends out. It is the coolest thing ever. And if you need to apply a little more blush, like I feel like I definitely need a little more blush, you can go ahead and do so. And you guys can see how that just gave me a fresh little flush to my skin, but it's not as intense as the pan looks. And that's because it's a gloss formula. Okay, so that is that side right there. Oh, and I'm gonna blend out this side of my nose too. I forgot to do that. But it just blends out so fast and it's super foolproof and it looks super nice. So we're gonna do the other side with the sponge really fast. And then I like to use the bottom of the sponge just to blend out my blush because I feel like I get a little more control that way. So definitely with the sponge, I feel like it does take a little bit of extra time. And then what I like to do is I like to take the illuminator shade and I like to actually just use my finger to apply that this is the shade rose gold put some on the tip of my nose on my cupid's bow and then i personally don't always i don't always fill in my eyebrows but when i do i either use a powder or my pencil or what i've been doing is using the cola shade this is a contour shade and using the multitask brush and just gently like sweeping it through my eyebrow and I personally like to put down the wax first just to kind of give my eyebrows some shape and so that way I'm not filling in like my whole entire brow. I'm just filling in the spots that need it and I feel like this makes it look a lot more natural and it also makes it a lot faster. This is basically like filling in your brows with a brow pomade. You guys can see the difference between my brow filled in versus my brow not filled in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of the lip color and I'm just using my finger I feel like the finger gives you, your finger gives you the most coverage. Alrighty, and then I'm just gonna top off my makeup really fast with a little bit of mascara. This is my Thrive Cosmetics mascara. It is my holy grail mascara. Literally nothing can match it. Like, look at that. My eyelashes are already pretty much done. That was like a few swipes. Look at that difference. Incredible incredible this is the finished look using the cheetah hack method which is honestly going to be your best friend if you just have no amount of time to get ready in the morning or just get ready in general and you guys can see how flawless and simple it was definitely adds some really good coverage i would say it kind of adds like medium coverage i feel like on this side especially because we used the brush that did add a little bit more coverage than on this side over here. But this is just going to be your best friend if you are in a pinch. And I feel like it still looks so good. And like, I just want you guys to see it a little bit up close. I haven't even set anything yet with my powder or anything like that. I've learned with using this um, for almost two months now, I think probably two months exactly, that a little bit of it goes such a long way. And if you're using the right amount, you really don't need to set your makeup at all. I have combination skin, so I get really oily around my T-zone, on my forehead, and even like underneath my eyes sometimes can look a little crepey. But if I'm just using the right amount, um, I don't really need to set it. And it looks good all day. Like I do still use setting spray 
um, for the most part but I also haven't like really been priming either I've just been using like a moisturizer and then putting this on but it just is so comfortable super lightweight it lasts all day and even like if you're wearing a mask it doesn't transfer onto masks the way that like typical makeup does so definitely if you are in the market for something fast and easy and still super natural and practically foolproof you guys need this in your life so if you are wanting to get color match i would love to help you guys out um and get you guys all set up definitely check out the color match form that i have down below and if you guys want to check out the website definitely check out that link that i have down below too and i also have a facebook master class where i am teaching a bunch of different makeup tricks and tips that you can use whether if you use saint beauty or not so definitely check that out too and um, i will also have my social media account linked below because i always share a bunch of um different instagram reels and igtv videos with different techniques tips and tricks as well so if you guys have any questions at all definitely leave them down below in the comments i would love to help you guys out and answer those questions that you have and if you guys have any requests on what videos you guys want to see in the future please 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 leave them down below in the comments if you haven't already make sure you guys do hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell so that way you guys will always know whenever i post a new video and i will catch you guys in the next one until then